can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Beautiful combination with the hands there. Goes upstairs, gets a foot to the target, high kick lands. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Let your hands go. Oh, and again. And they are exchanging leather early. Beautiful spinning attack there. Knee to the body. Right on the button. Lands a big elbow there. Beautiful punch to the body. There's another one. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Left hand finds the target. Oh, nice kick. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice crack there. Just misses with the jab there. Just over three minutes to go. Gets to the single collar tie. Lee gets hit with a kick. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Just over two minutes, round one. With that punch, no good. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost. And he gets the single leg takedown. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, right into Mount. This is a terrible position. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Fight for that wrist control now. Back to his feet. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee.
they're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, side kick. Well done. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Round right. two next. Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. The previous round figures to be a tough act to follow. Just a great balancing job of patience, accuracy, and aggressiveness. You watch him, and you see the relaxation in his approach. Everything is flowing. The shoulders are popping. The feints, the feints come off. The jab, the right hands, everything just seemed to be clicking. He was in the zone. Sometimes basketball players say they're throwing the basketball into a garbage can. Right. In the first round, it looked like he was in his zone. DC can't throw the ball in the ocean. I can't throw the ball into the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> you got a pretty good 15. I got a good jump shot, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work. Hey, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta def you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping it. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't <laughs> think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get <laughs> hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. And follows up with another one. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Clean with the right hook. Oh, nice combination. 
Slips the shot. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Back and forth we go. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. 10 seconds, this moment, 10 seconds. Final seconds of the round. Trying to kick the leg out. Huh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing them. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Land. Great punch. Nice body shot. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's just... Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you go at. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just out of range with that kick attempt. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. 
Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Big shot to the head. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Useful hook there. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other one. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Lands a solid kick right here. I mean, look at his left his left leg already on the outside. The inside of the right leg is going to start looking at like that too very soon. He takes any more of those inside kicks. Nice shot there by the champ. 30 seconds to go. Beautiful high kick. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Huge block there. Oh, nice. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Good jab there by the champion. Good jab. Fighter lands a left punch now. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice strike. He checked that last one. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. Now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Oh, huge kick! When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. 
Three minutes to go. Oh, nice jab. That kick blocked by Lee. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Well, at some point, as a fighter, defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. His thigh is like purple now. Yeah, he's getting beat up. I, mean, I, I just don't understand how he could have taken so many leg kicks before he started to realize that it was going to put him in danger. Waited too long. Now he's going to find himself in some trouble. Just missed with that right hand. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really... Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Limped it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Now they separate. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, you see. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. All right, doing work with the jab. Nice punch to the head. And there's a nice elbow from the clinch. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Right lands. Out of range with that kick attempt. 15 seconds. Oh, well, that cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside physician, but we got a bloody mess on our hands. Yeah, yeah bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Uh, you look at you look at this guy, and you look at his toughness, and his toughness may be a problem right now because his opponent will not let up on that. He's going to continue to beat him up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a fun. Oh! oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Good punch. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, nice. Throws that deep and it lands. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take. These. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
but he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh! What a beautiful body kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, collar tie. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, body shot. Three minutes now to go in this one. Effective jab there by Lee. He's gotta find a way to finish this fight. Oh, man, you gotta credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the men. Yeah, it's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach. Shows again, he got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Oh, man, how many leg kicks can one man take? I mean, I think this is it. If he takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Quick jab. Under two minutes to go on the fight. He's got the single collar tie. Nice body shot there. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Man, his thigh is just a mess of bruises right now. Looks like my son took out a couple of markers. How much more can he take? Is it not much? I mean, it's swollen. It's purple. It's blue. It's black. He's been beat up. I mean, you are now starting to see the benefits of following a game plan, recognizing the path, and taking that path. Nice strike from bottom position. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, nice kick. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us, strap in. This is gonna be one of the best fights you've ever seen, and boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood, we have seen heart, we have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango, and we had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce an instant classic. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Back and forth we go. 20 seconds to go. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Back kick there. I can't believe he's still standing after taking Oh, that. what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So of course it's gonna be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee!
Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one?